New UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer is encountering a significant challenge reminiscent of the Gillette John protests. These French anti fuel tax demonstrations and their yellow vests characterized the initial phase of Emmanuel Macron's presidency in 2018. His inability to manage the crisis came at a high cost. To prevent a repeat scenario, Starmer must leverage his considerable political influence toward enhancing prison capacity and expediting justice. The unrest erupted last Tuesday in the coastal town of Southport, located near Liverpool, which is the UK's seventh largest city by population. A crowd formed after incorrect online speculation mistakenly named the suspect in a fatal stabbing of children at a dance class as an illegal immigrant. In the ensuing days, far-right figures motivated their supporters to take to the streets and target immigration facilities and legal firms. However, by Wednesday evening, the atmosphere appeared more tranquil due to the turnout of thousands of pro-immigration protesters. This reprieve allows Starmer additional time to devise a sustainable approach for prisons and law enforcement. The UK correctional system is already severely strained. Even prior to the disturbances, the government had to release thousands of inmates early to alleviate overcrowding. To restore stability and prevent further incidents of violence, Finance Minister Rachel Reeves will need to allocate funds for new prisons, enhance police funding, and invest in the Crown Prosecution Service to facilitate faster justice. Reeves has merely £9 billion in additional spending available until 2028. Since she has pledged to uphold the fiscal regulations, tax increases or additional borrowing will be necessary. Prime Minister Keir Starmer a former chief prosecutor encountering his first major challenge since his July 4 election victory, has cautioned rioters that they will face significant prison sentences as he attempts to quell the most severe outbreak of violence Britain has seen in 13 years. He announced that over 400 individuals had been arrested, 100 were charged, and he anticipates that sentencing will commence soon. Please share your thoughts and support by liking and commenting below.